All right, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Blind brought to you by Tetra Hearing. Find them online at tetrahearing.com. In fact, uh, Logan and I just had a podcast, and this is stupid that I don't remember the name of the podcast. Do you remember the name of it that we did yesterday with uh, Tetra Hearing? Uh, Tetra Hearing Podcast. It's not what it's called. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Tetra Hearing, that I forgot that. We'll find out and give it to you later. We'll put it in the description of this podcast. Uh, so be looking for that. Anyway, Logan and I were on that this week while we were up here in North Dakota. It was a great conversation. So go check that out. Anyway, we're still in North Dakota and we are, uh, three fourths of the way done with our early Canada goose season up here. And, uh, it has been, it's been a tough one and we had another tough one today. And I don't even like Cody and I were out scouting tonight and we were just like racking our brain. Like what could we have done differently? And, I, you know, maybe we could have tweaked the, the height a little bit. Like yesterday, we maybe could have put something more green in there. I don't know, but I'm reaching for straws. But if you had to pick one thing, maybe we could have done differently. What would it be? Um, listen to yourself yesterday on the podcast. What, what did you say? Well, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. There you go. Well, and I'm not being too hard on myself. I'm just saying that. But you're sitting there racking your brain, right? Like there's no rhyme or reason to it. That's my point. Right. Is, I mean, the, the geese flew into each other today <laughs> they don't they don't know what they're doing yeah no that's just kind of that's all i'm saying that, what i'm saying is you answered everything there needs to be answered yesterday with it is it's early season geese you can't be too hard on yourself mm -hmm. you obviously you want to solve the, the sure. riddle right you want to mm -hmm. solve the problem figure out how to do better and mm -hmm. obviously critique what could we have done better there right um sure is there things you can always do better absolutely um is that skewed right now? One thousand percent. Yeah. You know, it's just a, it's just a weird deal right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just doing different stuff. I mean, look at tonight. Um, Cody asked us to go check a pin tonight that he's say, seen, you know, hundred plus birds in for the last three or four days that just hasn't really set up for the right wind and this, that, or another. And there's twenty five birds in it tonight. Right. And they're not in the same place they've been the last two nights. And, and mm -hmm. you know, maybe somebody hunted it, but yeah, it was off the beaten path and down in a hole it's you know the birds weren't flying far like you would have to kind of stumble upon it to figure it out you right. know right so you just never know it's just keep trying hey we're going back out tomorrow what do you do that's it anything you want to add to that cody yeah it's just been the conditions. pull your microphone a little closer to you brother sorry there you go yeah it's just been the conditions i mean where you guys got here sunny mm -hmm. 85 every day for yep. two weeks no wind and then you get here Fog, two out of three days, big rainstorm, wet in the morning. I mean, they sit until noon when it's wet like that, and they go back. They might not fly that good at night. So, We also talked about it a lot last year was stable conditions in this early season is a big deal. Oh, yeah. And you, typically we see a you know, cold front or a you know, some sort of a front or a storm or something that comes in and just kind of makes the birds act finicky. And in reality is 85 is fine if 85 stays 85 consistently for a 10 day span, right? right? Or, you know, five days before we're here and five days after we're here, it's all consistent throughout. That seems like that's when our best hunting is in the early season um, versus if we're, you know, stable conditions and then a cold front shows up and then it just puts the birds in a whack and they kind of, switch fields the other thing too is those farmers are back in the fields today cutting mm -hmm. already which mm -hmm. i thought it would prolong a little bit it, yeah. i thought it would be too wet for the next couple of days well now that those op other fields are getting pulled off birds are moving to mm -hmm. those fields like they're f literally following the combines around <laughs> trying to get in there as fast as they possibly can yeah right. we actually <laughs> saw somebody combine in tonight we got excited and drove over there real quick just to see if there yeah. might be any activity yep we've seen them birds going into that cussorium field well, yeah, I mean, those birds that are flying a mile, two, three miles to go feed, if there's a field that's getting cut, you know, right off the, you know, closer, their, their roost, obviously, they're not flying that far if they don't have to. Yeah, they don't have any reason to. Yep. Yeah. By the way, who's your special guest? This is Benny. Benny. Yeah. Yep. Benny in the Jets. <laughs> oh, no. Where's well, Jet's been walking around singing an Elton John. Uh, well, we got Benny. Jet, too. Come on, bring yeah. Jet on out. Come on in. Bring yeah, him in. I'll take Jet. Hi, Kylie. Yeah. There's Jet. Hey, bud. There Benny, we go. Benny and the Jet. Oh. Uh, what's that? 
What's he does that? not like you. <laughs> he does not like you. What's out. the what's that duck dog on Instagram? You think you can be that Jet? <laughs> you, think, you think you can get a duck? I think yeah. Benny could. Yeah, Jet doesn't like me. I think Benny could do it. So we were out scouting tonight. It was another tough scout. We had what three different trucks out running around. Maybe even yeah, you know, three trucks, right? Yeah. Um, and so you guys really had kind of struck so out. So huh? we went and checked um, the field that. We've seen, you know, the last three or four nights that had 100 birds in it, so to speak, and there was maybe 25. Um, we went and checked the field we hunted the first day, which there was 75 back in it, but they're on the far north fence line. The roost is on the north, other side of the north fence line. We got a south wind tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Just no way that that's going to work. Um, and then we checked a couple other spots that we've been seeing, you know, 20, 30 birds at just to check back and. Yeah, I mean, nothing really to shake a stick at anything that you're like, oh, this is something we need to take a serious look at. We didn't really have any of that tonight. Right. The ducks didn't even really fly tonight. Yeah, few and far between with those. Um, the field that we found that we're probably going to hunt tomorrow, had a, the ducks were flying too, but other than that, we didn't see many. Yeah. Uh, probably just south of 100 birds that we saw in there tonight, by maybe 80, 85, something like that. Right. Um, they were really spread out, you know, uh, unfortunately, but that's not, that's not uncommon for this time of year. Um, but the, we do have a pretty good hide. So um, it looks like they're coming from a couple different locations. So that kind of like that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go into it optimistic. It's our final day. And so all you can do is go in there with a positive attitude and do I mean, your best, right? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, we've, we've covered the miles. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've driven all over the place. Uh, we've put ourselves in the position to be successful. It just unfortunately hasn't worked that way. I mean, there's just nothing really, there's nothing else that we could have done really that much differently to change our success. You know, we can't take the cameras away. Right. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Yep. That's right. So when it doesn't work out, you get on the boat and you go walleye fishing. And we did that the last couple of days where you guys did, I didn't go, but, uh, how did that turn out? Not bad. Um, slower obviously this front kind of jacked the fish up as well um it seems like every time we go out joe can catch a northern literally the first cast in the first (laughs) 10 seconds that we're fishing um and then we don't catch anything for a little while longer but we we boxed four nice walleye today playing those nice Um, so we got some fish to take home right on but yeah it was fun i mean we we went exploring we went a little pre-fishing for cody just kind of looking for some new stuff and covered some water cody likes to cover water so we covered a lot of water good just like we covered a lot of ground you know what were we doing for bait today oh you know just a simple night crawler okay (laughs) (laughs) no bobbers a couple bobbers bobbers and night crawlers and i guess you were drifting yeah trolling yeah okay yeah so we were bottom bouncing bottom bouncing oh yeah all right how deep bouncing the bottom if you're in 11 feet you're too deep if you're in nine you're too shallow okay so right in the middle of that <laughs> huh, what would that be <laughs> roughly just feet. roughly <laughs> uh reminder that uh this week while we're in north dakota there's a chance for you to win a flat of shotgun shells from kent cartridge it's easy to do subscribe to our heartland waterfowl youtube channel like all the videos that we release during this week that we're here uh, including this video and all the videos of Behind the Blind. And then um, we're going to give away that case of shells on the next episode of Behind the Blind. So subscribe, like, comment, and stay tuned. We might just draw your name. So last night, or last time, we didn't do a podcast last night, but last time we were on the podcast, we announced that we had a couple, uh, a few new sponsors. Um, excited to have uh, First Light and Tangle Free and Buck Knives and Quack Rack on, on board with us in this new year. If you had to pick a sponsor that we don't have, what would it be? I got one. Do you? For the month of August. Off. <laughs> <laughs> the mosquitoes suck. The thermocell. Yeah, there you go. Hot hands. Hot hands? I've actually tried getting them on. The thing about hot hands is that they don't need marketing. No. <laughs> but yeah, it would be cool to have don't them. Don't they control like 99% of the pretty market? Sure. I'm pretty sure. They what do. a monopoly. Yeah. Um, Joe, would you like to add, because I'm thinking you're probably going to say crown Royal, right? 
Joe yeah. would love to have Crown Royal as a sponsor. So Crown Royal, if you're watching, um, there's a there's a great opportunity for you to get lots of integration <laughs> on the Behind the Blind podcast when Joe Palumbo is sitting in. Hey, um, you could say Copenhagen, but he quit. He's a year. All right. So Tre- he's treating himself to a ba- uh, Bahamas bone fishing trip. What's between the old cheek trip. and gum now? Okay, so on or Zen, Heartland Waterfowl might be interested in talking to you. <laughs> what do they call those fluffy lip pillows? Some lip yeah. Pillows. Just a little, <laughs> little lip pillow. <laughs> Maybe Solo Cup. You guys use a lot of those. That would be different. Solo Cup would probably. That's like, a, that's like size iced tea, you know? It's always in the same cup. Like you'd be yeah. in the blind drinking your coffee out of yeah. a Solo Cup. There you go. Um,. I'm trying to think of one that I would really want. We talked about like, you know, actually I got it. A really good all-terrain tire company. I could really use a good all-terrain tire. I don't know which one that would be. I had Cooper, I have Coopers on right now. I like Loves or Flying J. I thought like about a tr- that's like what a I was truck stop. to say. Yeah, Casey's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Casey's, yeah. Can't oh, go the, wrong with Casey's pizza. Brec- the breakfast pizza is where mm-hmm. it's at. Anybody who sells diesel. Good enough. <laughs> yeah. The the co-op. Yeah. We can get a co-op to sponsor us. The co-op? Yeah. Just the local co-op. Oh, the local co-op. Okay. Just so whatever you co-op go town, we're by. You just got to go. For, now I got to Google, is there a co-op in town? Hey, can we get some red diesel, please? <laughs> if you are watching this and you think you have a suggestion on who should be a sponsor that is not a sponsor, you should comment on this video to give us some suggestions because maybe you have an idea of something that we're not thinking of. I'm trying to think. We've talked about this all the time, but I don't know now that I'm actually sitting here talking about it. I, I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. I mean, you guys have so many good sponsors already. We it's do. Hard to, hard we really do. Think of more. <sighs> you got to think outside the box, like outside of hunting. What beer would you want if we were to get a beer one? Keystone Light. Keystone Light. <laughs> he jumped on that one because he resided from... <laughs> drinking any transgender beers yeah <laughs> we'll just leave it at that <laughs> modello i like modello okay yeah i do too <clears throat> nate i don't know i don't drink beer anymore so it's so what do you drink it's whiskey okay so do you have a favorite but well, anything buffalo trace okay all right buffalo trace are you listening anyway so um I don't know. We were, it's really late. It's uh, about 1030. We're dragging. It's been early mornings and late nights, but uh, we would love for you to engage with these videos. No, we got another video that is coming tomorrow and we'd love for you to subscribe, like, and comment so we can give you a chance to win the case of shotgun shells. And is there anything else that I'm missing before we wrap this up? Yes, I got one. Got What is that? Taxidermy sponsor. Ooh, that's a really good one. Yep. I like that one. Viagra. Oh, he, <laughs> taxidermy to Viagra. We're we're doing where something here. Where did that come from? So Dakota Thurn would like a Viagra sponsor. The, the youngest guy needs a Viagra sponsor. <laughs> What's the? Well, you want to clarify? No, I'm just looking out for you guys. You guys are my oh. homies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, that's going to wrap up this episode. Behind the blind, brought to you by Tetra Hearing. Mm-hmm. Find them online at Tetra Hearing. Dot com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Not only can you find this episode of Behind the Blind on YouTube, you can find it on all your favorite podcast platforms like Apple and Spotify and so many others. <laughs> Have a great time. <laughs> what a way to yeah. end it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Who's the baseball player that was sponsored by Viagra? I have no idea. Yes, come on. Randy Someone Johnson. help me. The, 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 I don't know. He used to hit home runs all the time. Frank Thomas. No. No. Was it? Was, no, it wasn't Jose Canseco. <laughs> there was a there really Sammy Sosa. Was. No, <laughs> real quality episode we got here behind the blind for you. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>